Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Today, by request, we're gonna get Neo Geo CD set up and running. You're going to need three things. You're gonna need EmuDeck installed, you're going to need a Neo Geo CD game, and you're going to need a BIOS file. And I cannot provide you with either one, but here's a checklist of which ones you can use. You're gonna to have to get those on your own, I'm afraid. So we're going to go ahead and go over to our emulation folder, and we're gonna go into BIOS files, in this case, it doesn't go in the root. You must make a folder first. So the folder name needs to be Neo CD, all lowercase. Remember, Linux is case sensitive. And we're gonna go inside that Neo CD folder and copy over our BIOS file. Okay, so our BIOS file is moved into BIOS. We're good to go. Now we need to go over to ROMs. And we don't go to Neo CD, we go to Neo Geo CD. I don't know, these folders are crazy sometimes, but Neo Geo CD is what you want. Now we can't just copy the zip file over, we're gonna have to extract it first, and we don't want it to be in a separate folder, so we'll extract it in the downloads folder first. And then when it's done, we'll open it up, grab the entire contents, and we'll copy it over to the uh, Neo Geo CD folder. Now this is pretty messy, right? All these bin Q files. It's pretty messy, but we're gonna fix that at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around. So now we have a BIOS file. We have a ROM or game file to play. We should be good to go. And we're gonna go test this over in gaming mode because I know all of the controls and everything will be properly mapped if I run it from over here. So we're gonna go ahead and run Emulation Station. And once it finishes loading, you should now have somewhere amongst your collection a Neo Geo CD entry. Obviously, your theme may look different than mine. And we will launch it for the first time. Let's check it out. Nice little logo. Now, depending on which BIOS file you use, this intro may look differently and different games may require different BIOS files, just like everything else in the emulation world. Very, uh, very confusing, I know. Okay, so here's Metal Slug 2, and we'll go ahead and play just a tad bit. There you go, there's that digital audio track coming from the CD, love that. Super fast loading, of course, and there you go. The game is working and playing fine. Now I am on the OLED version, so we might get a little bit extra push because of that, all right, so now we're done here. Let's get out of here. We know it works. So now let's go ahead and clean up that nasty mess. We're gonna go into EmuDeck. The nasty mess, of course, being the bin cues that we had listed all over our Neo Geo CD. We're gonna go to the EmuDeck compression tool. This is fantastic. This is gonna take all those files, crunch it into one CHD. We're gonna bolt compress this and we'll choose the only folder that has one available, which is Neo Geo CD, and hit OK. So what this is gonna do is compress this huge set of nasty uh, snake pit of files, and it's gonna turn it into one super clean, highly compressed CHD, and that's what we're looking for, right? We want this nice compressed CHD. Now this is gonna take a while. If you have the means to do it, I have a video to show you how to compress these files on your PC, which will be a lot faster. The magic of editing says that we're almost done, and there we go, all files have been compressed. Now we have no more nasty snake pit of bin Q files. And in fact, we have just one single file for the game, CHD file, it's 454 megabytes, which is a lot smaller than it was, even zipped, if you go back to our downloads, even zipped it was 600 megabytes. So we saved a good chunk of change by compressing it. And of course, what we probably wanna do is clean up after ourselves. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of our download stuff. Make it nice and clean. Listen, I hope you like what you saw today. If you do like this video, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.